Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. Hi, I'm Marshall. And today we have for you the January Zany Lainey collection. We're starting 2019 off with some, you know, really interesting products and some interesting deals as well. Some new things that we haven't done before that we're trying. Um, so if you want to see what we're doing in the background behind the products, you know, this is the video for you. Uh, the theme for the month of January is Winds of Change. Winds of Change. Yes, and the, the greater theme is Disney uh, classic movies that are live action. And, you know, you're going to... You're gonna see that each of these stories does have that topic of winds yeah. of change. One of them, actually, Very two literally. of them, literally have a wind that brings about change. Yes. Um, maybe even the third one as well. And then, of course, we have our one-off set. Now, the first thing of change I need to tell you: 2019 winds of change. Um, the first thing I need to tell you um, is that we are now only doing three. Uh, collection cents a month instead of four. Do you want to tell them why? One of the big reasons that we have this is that I spent pretty much all of last year very focused on doing artwork, um, basically pulling out five pieces a month. Um, that basically meant one per week. On top of having a full-time job, I had no time to breathe. Um, and I had to work very hard doing another month's work just to be able to spend time doing something that I wanted to do. Uh -huh. So um, we decided to cut back a little bit, uh, just removing one cent from the set each month. That way we don't overload ourselves. Uh -huh. And at the same time, we are able to plan out further ahead a little easier. Uh -huh. um, lastly, there is another good reason. Um, there's only so many things in the universe that can exist at a time. And uh, we like to make sure that we can continue doing this into perpetuity. Mm -hmm. So we are not putting as many per set so that we might be able to put other things in other sets later on. Exactly. And we are still doing a one-off scent every month um, that someone from our community has submitted. And if you are interested in submitting a scent, um, of your own to the vote for the community to be one of our special one-offs, then you need to go join our Facebook group down below. Right now we currently have August up because we like to be that far in advance. Yeah. Um, we don't have a lot of entries yet, so if you are interested, please go make up a set for August. And again, we're doing this every month, so you need to, you know, look for it. If you don't have your set created, then, you know, you might in the future. If you just don't want to wait and be like, hey, I want my scent, then we do do commissions and I will have that information down below for you. Um, you can either get your commission done uh, without art or with art. So you can name it, you can pick two scent blends to put together and then we will send it to you as part of a testing process twice until you approve it. And then after the second time you have to approve it. Um, that's what you get and then you get two bottles of it. Um, so that package is, and there's actually two packages that are down below for you, so you can use those as well. Um, so let's go into Winds of Change. Um, we also have a very, two, three, very special products that you're going to want to wait until the end of the video to see all three because they're exciting. They're very, very exciting what we're doing. Would you yeah. Say? Yes. yes. And, and the other thing, like making the artwork for this set. One of the biggest problems I had is that all of these movies had songs that I heard like a million times as a kid. <laughs> so I'm sitting there doing the art and the music is going on in my head over and over and over again and I can't get it out. <laughs> so even then, looking at these titles, it's almost like there's a song going on again. That, that is, it, it's true like pretty much uh, two of the three have the song song have song a things. song have a song lyric in, uh -huh. their, in their title all right let's start with the first one and it is called about, about to, to begin, begin which is mary poppins and 
This particular uh, scent I think will be very popular this month because Mary Poppins uh, Returns came out in December. We haven't seen it yet, but we will soon. But I'm a huge Mary Poppins fan. You can see back there I got the new Mary Poppins Funko as well as Jack the Lamplighter. Um, so yes, love Mary Poppins. It's actually my one of my husband's favorite live action movies. Julie Andrews was such a large part of my childhood, yeah. not only in Mary Poppins, but in other movies as well. And she basically helped me with my elocution in my singing. So that's the specialty of this. Winds of change being that when the wind changed, she came in, and then when the wind changed, she left. Mm -hmm. But it also brought about change. So... About to begin is cotton candy, lemon drops, and sugar. This is a very, very sweet scent. And that makes it fun. All right, there we go. The artwork, as you can see, is Cherry Tree Lane. This is not an angle that we get in the movie very much at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see, I think, the captain's uh, weather vane there as it has changed ways. You can see the park that they later go to and she's kind of coming in on her umbrella. Mm. Mm -hmm. The actual scent itself is based on a spoonful of sugar, obviously, mm. when you got the cotton candy and the sugar. And then that lemon, uh, the lemon drops come in. It's also a sugary lemon. So mm -hmm. this is definitely like spoon spoonful of sugar, right? Mm -hmm. You can get this in a sugar scrub which is more sugar on top of it, or you can get it in a spray, as well as if you are looking for the art, the button. Mm -hmm. So the button we introduced uh, last year, and we are still going strong with the button. Um, what, do you, what do you think of this scent overall? This is a very sweet scent. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's on par with the sweetness of cakey, cake sniffers. Yes. Um, however, it's a different direction that it goes towards. It's got a little bit more of the citrus element to it. Mm -hmm. Less of a cake element. Mm -hmm. So true. Mm -hmm. Our next scent is called Togetherness with the exclamation point. And it is Parent Trap. Again, Haley Mills, also from my childhood, very, very big. I loved Summer Magic, That Darn Cat. I mean, I was a huge Haley Mills fan. Um, so this is actually from the older uh, Parent Trap movie, not Lindsay Lohan, no, no, no. which is, but if you look on here, there is a blonde and a redhead, which he will talk about in a minute. Um, kind of an ode to both. The set notes are root beer, melon, and fresh greens. Now this was actually a movie that last year when we did a poll for classic movies, people were like, please do this so i was like yes i love this movie let's let's do this um so you might think the root beer and the melon seem a little weird but they go together very well, and we'll i was talk really about that surprised during the production of it i i really did enjoy mm -hmm. that okay uh, as far as the artwork goes you can take a look at that this is very much in the style of the original opening credits um where you had wooden dolls that they claymation together. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like those and it's actually over a background that's very similar to one of the backgrounds that they had in there that was just a piece of fabric. Um, although I think that they green screened that. It's an interesting process. Mm, right. Um, there is a blonde and a redhead which is true also in the original but I've changed up how they look just a little bit because one is supposed to represent the old and one is supposed to represent the new. Mm -hmm. And on the actual label, you have the cherubs, mm -hmm. which you can't see in there. That's what the desktop looks like, which I have back there too. But they have the little cherubs, and I love the cabin. We actually watched the movie so that he could get the cabin correct, which was very tricky. It was actually. more of like making sure I knew which cabin was which because I wanted to make sure that I didn't get the wrong cabin. Mm. So yeah, I have a rep who actually is not a fan of root beer and she's kind of sad about it. It kind of makes her sick. And I totally understand that, but I like root beer a lot. And so to me, root beer, so it is kind of of the time period of the movie, you know, root beer. The melon, I thought, would just really offset the root beer well, and then the greens, the woods. So they're out camping twice, in the beginning of the movie and the end of the movie. But at the same time, it kind of represents the girls themselves. Mm. The root beer and, and the greens that you smell is kind of that of the more wildy 
Susan, I think it was. Yeah, Susan is the Californian, Sharon yeah. is Boston. Where the melon is much more Sharon. Exactly. You can also get this in the scrub as well as the button. This is my like favorite smell and my favorite art of the month, quite honestly. I just I love the way that this all all came out. The last scent for the month is called Invisible Buddy, and it is based on Pete's Dragon. Um, was Pete's Dragon like a big movie for you when you were growing up? I, I do have a lot of, like, there, there was a lot of fond memories for it. Then after re-watching some of the footage nowadays, I'm like, oh, this movie is horrific. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the f at least a horror movie lets you know that it is a horror movie before it does the first jump scare. Mm. This movie does not. It's just, oh, we're in the woods, we're in the woods. Hogan's. I really, I, I, okay, so this one is based on the old one. Obviously, there is a new Pete's Dragon. I actually haven't seen that yet either. The new Pete's Dragon is amazing. Um, I do need to see it though. So um, this, the scent notes on this on our tamarind, cinnamon, and oak. Tamarind is kind of like a citrusy smell a little bit, but anyway, let's talk about the art first. Uh, in this artwork, you're going to be seeing the forest that was a big part of the early parts of the story um, as they're coming in. But if you look really close, there's a bit of Elliot, the dragon, as he's fading in and out. He's still holding onto the apple, which is fully visible. So if you don't see him, you'll at least see the effects that he's mm. having. It which... took me a few times to try to see him when I was looking at it. I was like, where is he? But yeah, you can you can see him. I like how it's like a little opaque, but a little transparent. But you know, he's more visible than other invisible characters we've done before. Mm hmm. So invisible buddy. Uh, so what we wanted this to smell like was not just the woods, but also almost like a southern smell because of the Gogans um, that are chasing Pete throughout the movie that have adopted him um, as a slave. And this really does smell like this. Um, because of the cinnamon though, it is not available in a scrub, but you still can get this in the button mm -hmm. as well if you want. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, so Invisible Buddy. Okay, so now we're going on to our one-off scent, which will be available first in the party as a discount but then on the site at full price. Um, so this is called Bright Light, and it is, if you didn't know by Marshall's shirt, is a Grumlins. It was made by my friend Valerie, um, and she had actually had been planning this for quite a while, and I was like, you need to put this up for a vote because I love what you want to do with this. So let's talk about the art first because that's probably the most exciting. This artwork. Uh, when you buy the digital download, it not only comes with the desktop version and the mobile version, but it comes with a separate version of the desktop that actually lists off every single piece of um, paraphernalia that you spot around here. This is the Chinese curio shop from the beginning of the movie, and um, yeah, you've got Gizmo popping his head up out of there, but all this stuff all over here if you include Gizmo, there is 32 references to other things, uh, three of which are references to our stuff. The rest is references to others. I mean, if you, the first thing that somebody else noticed was Jason's mask from Friday the 13th is sitting in there. Uh, you've also got, from much more recent media, she -Ra's sword from she -Ra and the Princesses of Power. So take a look at it. There's a ton of junk in here. <laughs> These scent notes are cranberry, snow, and ginger. So the cranberries is because it is Christmassy, um, and the snow as well. The ginger is kind of a throwback to the Asian uh, store um, in Chinatown that they go to. Um, it kind of gives it a little bit of an interesting kick, almost. Mm -hmm. mm, I can really smell the cranberries and the snow a lot. Um, I, I just, I love the idea and the concept behind the scent that, you know, Gizmo is, you know, sitting there looking at all the things in the shop. Yeah. I actually oh. just watched Gremlins, like, for the first time in a huge amount of time. I love Gizmo, and I like the little Gremlins, but the movie itself, to me, I got kind of bored. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I like I liked the concept of it, so I was like, oh, I'm, I'm with this, I'm with mm -hmm. this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was a lot of fun to put together. So this scent as well has cinnamon in it, so again, we will not be putting it in the scrub, but... 
button is available. So before we go into the new things, I wanted to tell you about the pops because I always forget. Um, if you make an order, you do get a pop that has an art from one of the scents. Of course, we still have four because we are including the one off. You might get that one as well. And then the uh, golden pop. Um, which this one has the what we call our sneak peek image but this is the girls from uh, Parent Trap but they are it's jelly it's our, our girl mascot jelly is dressed in the camping uniform mm -hmm. that as they well wear as the partner that a lot of people have act well, some people have been asking for in, in conversations uh, they've been asking for her to have a partner because magical girls are never alone mm -hmm. um, and so you have her partner Ravenna as Sharon Venna is her name? Ravenna. Oh, Ravenna. Okay. So, let's start with the first new product. It is going to be um, a way for you to try scents um, all at once without spending a lot of money on the two ounce bottles. And it's going to be these little 12 millimeter sprays that we used for the advent calendar. You can buy six of these for $10, which is you know, a pretty good deal. It's less than $2 for one of these. Um, this is not up on the site yet. Hopefully when I get everything up on the site, it will be there and you'll be able to choose from predetermined bundles. So we're going to have like bakery scents. We'll have some fruity scents. We'll have one that's like kind of musky. And then that way you can just choose what you want. And then we'll have one that's kind of a variety pack of, you know, a bunch of stuff. It will right now be primarily our older stuff, things that we so started in 2017 and 2018. Uh, 2019 stuff probably won't be up there. Um, and we won't obviously have every scent because right now I think we have close to 90 different scents in our store. I'm not sure if that's true. I, I tried to count them all and I was like, oh my gosh, we've got a ton. It'd take me too long to count it up by hand. Yeah, so when we get to the hundreds, we'll have, probably have to do like a giveaway or something. Mm -hmm. So that's what the first one. The second one is by, the second one is by popular demand. Um, very popular demand. So people were like, Please, please, can you bring back wax? And we are bringing back wax. However, we're doing it in a way that's not going to kill us as people who work full time, sometimes more than 40 hours a week at our main job and then do this. So what we have decided to do is every month we are going to put up a poll and uh, we are going to put a variety of different uh, scents from our library on the poll and whichever wins gets to be the wax that you buy for the month. So for the month of January, the people in our Facebook group picked Pumpkin King, which is a great scent. Yeah. I have this right over there and I've been spraying it and spraying it, but this is going to make a fantastic wax. No, there's no wax in here because we haven't made it yet. We just needed something to show you. So <laughs> you can purchase this uh, on the site and in the party. It will be discounted a little bit, just a little bit, but not a lot um, for the month of January. You're also going to want to go in there in January and you're going to want to vote on next month's February scent to see what you want there. But let's say, lady, I really want more wax. What do you do? Well, you can do it like this as well. We are doing a new bundle. This is for people who just want to try all of the scents, but maybe they can't afford to purchase this much stuff. So we are doing what's called a sample bundle. Um, the sample bundle is going to be um, a 12 mil millimeter, milliliter, 12 milliliter spray, a two ounce, of the scrub and a wax clamshell and a button. So you get all four for $10. This is an amazing deal, it really is, but we wanted to offer this for you guys. Now, we will determine what you are getting. So you don't get to like pick and choose. Um, so the 12 mil milliliter spray for this month is togetherness. The scrub is about to begin and the wax, of course, is a visible buddy because it has cinnamon in it, so it seemed like it was the most mm -hmm. for wax. Um, your button will be randomly chosen. We're just gonna have like a bunch of them, and you'll just get, one, you'll get of, one of one of the one of the three buttons that we have available. Um, so we thought this would be a really great way for you guys to try the stuff. So ten dollars that, and that is the three things 
three new things. Um, I do want to give you guys a heads up. In February, our prices are going up a little bit. Um, the sprays are going to have to go up to six dollars. Um, I think the wax is going to stay at five and then the scrubs might be going up just a little bit, but at least the sprays are going up to six dollars. I just wanted to give you that heads up. Um, due to some like fees when it comes to supplies and it's a big thing. It's businessy stuff. You know what I mean. So that is our January uh, collection. If you want to be a rep, we are currently looking for reps for March, April, uh, because now we do reps for every two months. Um, the program has changed a little bit, but because it's a new year, we have some people that are not going to be going forward with us and some people that are. So we are always looking for more people. If you are wanting to do this, let me know. Um, I, we, we have a great little community. They, they are, it's like a family. It's so awesome. You know, like when I'm a brand rep, I, I never really know the people that I'm repping with. Like, even though you're in like a little chat group, mm -hmm. I, I barely know the people that I rep with, but in our rep group, they know each other and we do team building exercises and it's just, it's a great time. It's so great. Anything? Yeah. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.